mão? Quer mão? É quanto, mano? Olha uma mão. Parece, mas não Everything smells so fresh. Super fresh. So right now we're at the market, but it should be end right there, and then we go from Ipanema to Leblanc. So many stuff like never seen before. All right, so now we are walking at the rich streets of Ipanema, and Ipanema the Bronze is actually mostly the same, super safe, and you don't need to worry if you get robbed or whatever. It's super safe. They have a store, it's called American Express. So maybe I guess they have like a lot of US stuff. But I watched the inside, I was like there, they have like electronic and food, so it's not only like based on one stuff.
It was a beautiful day, sunny day. It was raining for like five days, non-stop. And right now this little curfew means all restaurants close, like 95% restaurants close at 5 p.m. So after that you have to go to the supermarket and cook or order food, something like that. But you can still go outside, it's no problem. We have a lot of pharmacies, like here in Brazil, there are so many pharmacies. Every 30 meters you find a pharmacy. So, whatever you get sick or something like that, you will always go to some medicine. But the thing is, there is so much variety here in this area. You see like food store, you see clothing, different type clothing, and every food store tastes awesome. So this is a SIM card, phone store, it's Claro, but you have also another one, it's called Tim. Tim is also like a phone company. And we are the whole time walking like beside the beach. So we are like one block away from the beach. And so when you go to this street, street this walking streets, I just wanna show you here. If you look to our left, the beach is right right there. Like two minute walk. Maybe one minute.
Vi har tia Burger King. But as you can see, they have so many electric stores. But good stores, you know, good stores. And this again, an American impression. <laughs> Oh, I see parked there, so maybe you should check it out. And we have here that uh, metro station. So metro station, guys, is across the whole south area, like Leblon, Ipanema, Copacabana. So if you want to move around, very cheap, super cheap. You buy a car, it takes 30 seconds to get physical card, and you recharge. And each ride, it costs four reals. So four reals, it doesn't matter if you go from here to Centro, you pay four reals. That's like 50 penny. Normally, if you want to ride from here to a Centro, you would pay like 25 reals. So it's a big difference, like 25 to 4 reals. So now let's check out the park. Looks very pretty actually. Makes very beautiful with sun.
Guys, can you tell me please should I do like a walk and talk to us or it should be like as always like the silence wall for you? Because I actually would like to explain some stuff here, but I don't know if you want to hear like my voice all the whole time explaining. So if you want to hear me talking for the next video, then everyone press one. And if you are not like watching right now live, then comment down below. If not, press two. So I can know, that's easy. So as I said guys, very safe here. If you want to come very safe ever, come to Ipanema and Leblon. But you pay like 30% more than Copacabana. Copacabana is also safe at daytime. You want to make video there, you're going to see it. But it can be tricky if you walk alone at night and you look like super gringo. You maybe can get robbed, I don't know. I see that often happen, like when someone's like 50 years old or a girl with the jewelry uh, or walking just looking at phone stuff like that so just watch out Well guys, so we have here Zona Zul. Zona Zul is like supermarket. Let me show you guys. So Zona Zul is like the biggest supermarket and you can find it everywhere. Here in Brazil it's across this credit and you will find literally everything, like everything. But <laughs> bro, I was like watching like for real honey. Like seriously, real honey was that uh, like didn't like press with that stuff. I don't know what's called. And they had it and it was like in a glass, like there. find every food, every cheese, every meat, literally everything. Like compared to Colombia, bro, Colombia was like horrible. Like the quality was only not bad, also like the taste and you couldn't find anything what you were looking for. They don't have this, they don't have this. I don't know if Brazil is third world country, I don't know if they say that, but for me it's looked like Europe. <laughs> But not Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. I would say here, like Ipanema, Leblon. But also Central looks modern. And also like other states like Florianopolis, Buzio, so not only Rio actually. But well, today is super beautiful day, bro.
taxi? I wouldn't take taxi, guys. You will just take Uber, that's the best. Uber is safe and fast and cheaper. Okay, let's go to the other side because right now traffic is stopping let's take advantage Asai, this guy, this is typical Brazilian food, asai. It's like ice cream, but it's like fruit. And it tastes super awesome, you should try it, asai. Cost costs 10 real, but if you go to the beach, you can get it for like 7 real. Sometimes 5 real, like super cheap. But you have to go Copacabana at the beach area. Alright guys, so we are now about to cross Ipanema and the way you can know it is just crossing this bridge that I'm gonna show you and we're gonna go to Leblon In Leblon, one of my favorite areas Actually, yeah First my place in Ipanema and then Leblon <laughs> By the way, if you see every building, watch, uh, you take a look at the building, every single building has an AC. Like, I'm not joking. Every single. It's not only here at the uh, middle class area, it's whole Brazil. Poor area, rich area. Sometimes in the favela you see that. Oh, that's a Jesus statue, bro, that's awesome. That looks so amazing in person. Bro, that thing is huge. Jesus saved my life. I'm not kidding. I want to make this video how Jesus saved my life once we hit 100,000 subscribers. Now I'm going to explain to you how, how I'm still here alive. I'm, <laughs> this sounds like uh, funny, but it's not funny, guys. It's real story. So that's the bridge. Now we're about to cross.
Uh, we have here those bikes, guys. If you download the app Tembiki or Tembiki, whatever it's called, you can rent them out for six reals every 15 minutes. You can ride. And you can ride at beach and whatever you want. It's super fun. Or you can take lime and it costs uh, uh, two real per minute. I don't know, I forget. But anyway, guys, look at this metro station. It's called Khardim de Allah. Like, what? <laughs> Why Allah? I mean, Allah is uh, God. Muslim people say God. So I don't know why it's saying Allah. Alright, let's go to the other uh, side. It's super sunny. I don't want you to get blended, you know what I'm saying? Two sides. Alright, go, 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 go. Oof. Bro, they drive like super fast. But if you look like here, what I'm saying, like buildings here, everyone is I see, it doesn't matter which building you look at. And the funny stuff is you see so many different stores. Well, that's crazy. And by the way, here, if we go to the right, there is a blown shopping mall. I need to make videos there, guys. Because I think you need to see also the mall. And I'm going to take you there. So I'm going to go at the weekend so I can show you how does it look like. English. All right, what? What's up? Moça tá me gravando, outro que vergonha. É. Eh. Alô. You said, you said you want to speak. So what's going on? Aqui, like in Facebook or on Instagram, SOS Children's Village, okay? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you. I'm going to check it out muito, next time. Muito bem. Muito bem. Thank you. Uh, obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> I said no Spanish because I don't want to talk, bro. I just want to do my thing. <laughs> oh, they tell me like what it's going. <coughs> oh, that's funny.
Roman. I don't want to swear, but my throat is so hurting. I'm drinking too much. Like compared to Colombia, I'm drinking too much. I need to fix that. That's not Rami. Rami drink only one, two beers, that's it. But not like alcohol. Oh. Very much. Oh. I need to change it. That's <laughs> Bro, I hate it. But if you compare now LeBron to Ipanema, you see it's like all the same. So, but you see, but right now it's everything open till five, and then later you see everything gonna close. Bro, here you can find a lot of Arabic food. If you are an Arabic guy, you want Arabic food, you can find like three places in Leblon. No, sorry, three places in uh, Ipanema. Uh, two places, no, three places in Copacabana. And one in Leblon. Yeah. Alright guys, there is beach. As you can see, I'm walking around with my camera, gimbal, phone, nobody's trying to snitch away. Guys, what do you think so far about this really streets? Let me know guys, what do you think so far? I want to know. I want to know your opinion. Alright guys, so now we are about to end. We reach the last station here in Leblon and here are the people waiting for Lotto. They play Lotto a lot. It's like the same in Colombia. So here, um, Contero, no, Antero de Cantal. That's the last Leblon station before it takes you to Rosinha, Contrao, it's called something like that. And then Baratajuca. So from here the starts Leblon area. It goes a little more down, but there it's like this nightlife. But right now nobody gonna be there. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy it. Please smash the like button, subscribe. And as always guys, as always, take care guys. Peace.